it's a good week guys so today is sunday and i want us to try to see if we can make some you know focus analysis so let's try and uh, maybe look at gold gbp usd euro usd whichever us that nas nas 100 you know and if we get good opportunities we will react to what we will be seeing you know when the market opens tomorrow so first things first this is gold okay let's just try to understand what we see remember we're just going to react to what we see okay so first things first let's just have that right there this is based on the weekly then let's have this maybe right here probably try to clone this maybe have it right there so that is it so if we go to the daily we need to adjust our levels because we don't want to miss a thing right so this is it <clears throat> Alright, so now we need to concentrate on this market movement, okay? What do you see? Do you see a reversal? Do you see a continuation pattern? Those are the questions that we need to ask ourselves, okay? So over here, of course, there's also another trend, boom. And of course, I can call this is another continuation pattern. Maybe have this right here. Something like that. This is still the daily. Then now, of course, we see that we had a continuation part right here. That's why we see we have these instead of impulse. Okay. So now let's go to the H4. All we know is that gold has a potential now of uh, maybe targeting this. Let's just adjust this. We still have that possibility that she's going to target these resistance and if it continue breaking you know we still have this level so those are just good amount of pips okay so right mm -hmm. so let's just adjust this one right here so over here we had a reversal pattern inverse head and shoulder okay that just happened so i think we also have another reversal right here inverse head and shoulder that's amazing so the next thing i think we should just have this level right here identify that as a resistance then go and go to the h1 just like that right so this is where we are currently so how will we take this entry position okay <laughs> right so first thing first we need another continuation pattern because all this is just an impulse okay the, the market won't just go all the way up or it will just not drop all the way down market needs to breathe so i still anticipate gold to come back to give me this kind of a pullback guys remember if i don't get a bullish flag i'm not taking that entry okay that's it once we get that kind of a pattern or behavior that's when we take our entry right here around this uh, support level right there then i'll target that level okay let's just do this there's also another trend i can see guys let's just have this right here something like this <laughs> then have it clone boom and it makes sense guys so you see if you want to take your entry right here so that means you're taking your entry at the resistance in fact i think we should maybe have this right here because i still believe you know taking your entry on this pullback will be kind of risky so what if we wait for gold to come back and you know touch this um, support level that's when we take it all the way up that is an amazing thing guys all right so that is what we should anticipate right let the market do its thing because if it reverses from here or if it gives us you know something like this let me just remove this it might do this then you think oh the market is trying to go back and probably the market just wants to you know print a bigger version of a continuation pattern or a bullish flag then you see gold doing this okay so this is going to be a good place to take gold all the way up that is it so i'll just need to add this to my watch list mm, this is amazing baby remember no reversal no entry guys if you don't see anything like a reversal don't take your entry right so this is it because i know most people are just going to have their stop loss right here mm -hmm. this is the best place to take your buy where people are going to have their stop loss should be the best place to take your buy in fact right here so first things first i just need to have an alert right here boom i'm done then add this to my eye list <laughs> it's amazing come on baby right there 
have it to my eye so the next thing uh, let's talk about maybe GU people do trade GU a lot so take it to the weekly because today is uh, Sunday right there so what do we see we need to identify patterns continuation pattern reversal boom let's just mark that level right there boom then have this level mark right there so yeah we see we had an impulse oh come on baby we had an impulse right here correction impulse correction boom that's an impulse so let's go to the daily because we anticipate price has a potential of going to target that level right there mm -hmm. so let's go to the daily now and adjust our levels <laughs> that easy baby mm -hmm. so all, what do we see here we had a correction right there right so we had an impulse correction impulse right so all we need to do is mark out this level right here it's a continuation pattern boom boom then let's go to the four hour so simple baby right there so all we see is that the market or price is in an impulse phase and guess what there's also a trend right here that the market was kind of respect let's just have this right there then clone this then have it right there and guess what where is the market the market is at the resistance so all you need to do is wait for another continuation pattern right here baby patient let's just take it to the h1 mm, 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 mm. the market is looking so nice mm, so handsome can have this right there right there maybe just have it right there mm -hmm. just just do this just following the trends guys the market is just giving us blueprints so we need to follow along right so if you see our price doing this dropping because that's my anticipation just let it do its thing play out boom 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 that continuation pattern right there something like that because we need to take it back to this level right here okay price has not yet you know retested this level right there then that is when we should be taking our entry then now instead of targeting this we can target this level right here because i think that is a good place you know that price like i say from the weekly or the day that market will you know try to you know target and if you see price you know continue dropping it doesn't mean that you know the market is changing direction guys you just need to evolve just adjust your trend line because maybe price might trying it might be trying to you know create new trend line okay so let's just have that have an alert right there then have our, mm -hmm, our pair added to our eye list then the next one euro usd where are you so you see guys it makes sense you uh, we, we saw gold wants to go up and uh, gbp usd also needs to go up but then we still anticipate those kind of a pullback right okay <laughs> right so this is euro usd what do we see boom let's just mark this probably then try to clone it boom then let's go to the daily now mm -hmm. what do we see this is what we have right impulse correction impulse correction impulse mono correction okay what is this price telling us you can have that right there try to clone it too if you don't get a thing we'll let it go can have it right there same thing we are, are approaching uh, we are approaching a resistance level right mm -hmm. boom makes sense baby mm -hmm. and guess what price is trying to give us a reversal right there no problem it's an amazing thing all we need to do let the market do its thing boom 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 the same thing same stupid things guys boom target your level make your entry boom right and if you see price continues dropping the next level that you should have it you know and especially this one right there so those are just the supply zones that we should be targeting you understand let's just have this marked have an ally right there then add it to our eye list boom have it all iris there right there so i think guys that is just easy and uh, i think uh, i should just stop there and uh, hopefully you have a good trading week guys i remember if you don't see a reversal guys don't take your entry 
right let the market do its thing the reason why i'm saying if you don't see a reversal is this remember we're looking for buys and we are anticipating a pullback a drop that's a downtrend right so if we are looking for a, a buy and the market is still in a downtrend don't take a buy when the market is still in a downtrend make sure the market has given you an indication that it wants to go up a reversal telling you that this downtrend is done that's when you take your entry and if that doesn't happen just let the market do its thing continue holding on right wait until the market gives you the blueprint so until next time mi amigo adios